the Le'Veon Bell situation, how does this turn into a positive for both? Steelers and Le'Veon. I think uh, it's a positive for both. If Le'Veon Bell shows up at training camp, uh, basically says, hey, it didn't work out, life goes on, I'm going to have a great year, then I'm going to go be a free agent and make a lot of money, and the Steelers say, good, you gain 1,900 yards, we go to the AFC championship game, this is going to work out for everybody. You make $14.5 million, life is good. I think it'll be a bad thing if uh, Le'Veon Bell, I think Adam Schefter uh, reported the other day that he may not show up, that he may have a holdout into the season because uh, he wants to uh, be fresh and, 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 uh, and, and a really good player for his next team. Uh, you know, I just, I don't think that will go well at all why is it the pay structure for running backs hasn't because gotten better because dan i did a a, a note in my column on monday uh, when i was talking about demarco murray the last 10 nfl rushing champions let's eliminate adrian peterson okay but because he won three in the last 10 years the other seven rushing titles have been won by seven different players average draft slot 79 so you've got demarco murray you've got kareem hunt you've got arian foster who was not drafted okay so you look at that and you basically say okay alvin kamara rookie offensive rookie of the year last year drafted somewhere in the 60s uh kareem hunt drafted 86 won the rushing title third rookie to do it in 30 years and my whole thing is you know you get running backs down the line. Why am I going to commit borderline quarterback money to a running back as great as Le'Veon Bell is? And I love Le'Veon Bell. But if I'm the Steelers, I'm thinking two things. Uh, we'll get another running back. Not Maybe not as good as Le'Veon Bell. Cer- probably certainly not as good. But uh, it'll cost one-fifth the amount that Le'Veon Bell wanted. And then... Three years later, when he gains a lot of yards, we'll, we'll go get the next guy. And and look, I don't mean that running backs are are altogether totally interchangeable. But in recent years, running backs have basically become interchangeable. So uh, based off of that, the Giants taking Saquon Barkley. I was never not a, in favor. I was that. never a big fan of that, um, and it might work because if they play their game that way, and I think they want to. Eli Manning is going to be thirty-seven this year. They don't want him throwing five hundred and fifty passes. I'm sure. Uh, I think they would probably want a close to fifty-fifty run-pass ratio on that team. So we'll see. Uh, and they are a different team, a different organization, and Pat Shermer, Dave Gettleman. They want to have not a good running game, but a great running game. So we'll see if it works. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.